pick from State of the Union surfaces days later. Viewers stunned by what's exposed as camera zooms in. Uh, that, by that conservative girl politics, U.S. News from AdWorldNews.com. Now, two days after President Donald Trump's very first State of the Union address, an extremely telling picture has surfaced. Viewers have been stunned by what's exposed as the cameras zoom in. By now, you've undoubtedly heard that many Democrats remained seated throughout the duration of President Donald Trump's first State of the Union address on Tuesday evening as an act of protest for, well, no one really knows what. After Trump uh, having had such a momentous first year in office, the Democrats have no legitimate bones to pick with him besides the fact that he uh, refuses to let in all of the illegal immigrants that their little liberal uh, hearts desire. Still, in the absence of any legitimate grievances with the president, the Democrats who actually showed up to Trump's first State of the Union address protested his speech by sitting through it like a bunch of toddlers who missed their nap time. At times, these acts of protest were seen as disrespectful, uh, particularly when Democrats refused to stand or applaud for Trump's remarks about be America being one nation under God or standing for our national anthem. Conservative co commentator Liz uh, Wheeler even provided a comprehensive list of all the things in Trump's speech with the, which the Democrats didn't stand for, which included low black unemployment, bonuses for employees, 2.4 million jobs created, American flag, in God we trust, national anthem, fully secured border, merit-based immigration, fighting opioid abuse, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Members of the Congre uh, Congressional Black Caucus were perhaps the worst offenders on Tuesday night, as they refused to stand when Trump touted the record low black unemployment numbers achieved by his administration. So if the Democrats weren't standing and applauding at the appropriate times during the President's State of the Union address, then what were they doing? The Daily Caller's Benny Johnson, who took in Trump's first State of the Union from the press gallery, happened to find a few pictures from the event on Tuesday, and when you zoom in, you can see the Democratic members were playing on their cell phones during the president's speech, perhaps a version of Candy Crush. Two of the members were on Twitter and editing what looks like uh, talking points, respectively. Check it out. Donald Trump has been perhaps the most effective president the United States has ever seen. Just one year into his first term, he has already delivered on nearly every single campaign promise that he made to the American people. He has all but defeated ISIS. He passed sweeping tax cuts, which would put more money in the pockets of middle-class Americans. The economy is booming. Companies from around the world are investing in America, and the list goes on and on. So, why on earth would anyone protest him? It would uh, seem that the only reason that these uh, misguided liberals continue to oppose him is for the simple fact that he isn't Hillary Clinton. Well, he may be a lot of things, but he's never going to be a crook in an ill-fitting pantsuit. If that means the Democrats will continue to needlessly protest him for another seven years, then so be it. He'll keep winning as they waste their power with absurd protests like the one they waged on Tuesday night, accomplishing absolutely nothing for the people who elected them to office in the first place. Isn't that disgraceful? Isn't that disgraceful? Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.